Hey guys, in this lesson we would understand the applications of trigonometric ratios. When it comes to application problems, there are included real life world problems where the problem is given in the form of words and we have to first turn it into a diagram and then apply the trigonometric ratios including sine ratio, cos ratio and tan ratio. Let's read the first example. A flagpole casts a shadow 28 meters long when the sun's rays make an angle of 25 degrees with the ground. How tall is the flagpole to the nearest meter? We know if it is a flagpole, definitely it will be standing straight on the ground. So this is the flagpole. It casts a shadow 28 meters long. Always remember a shadow for anything is always seen on the ground. So this is where the shadow for the flagpole will be seen. And the length of the shadow is given to us as 28 meters. The shadow will be seen on the ground when the sun's rays are going to make an angle with the ground and that angle value is 25 degrees given to us. The question wants us to find out how tall is the flagpole or what is the height of this. Flagpole. Now how do we know that we have to apply trigonometric ratio is because this is a right angle triangle and we are given angle and we are given side and we are supposed to find out an unknown side of the right angle triangle using angle. So when the relationship between angle and side is supposed to be used then we use trigonometric ratios. Now out of sine, cos and tan which ratio is going to be applicable that depends upon for this particular angle what are we given and what are we looking for. Now for this angle this side is opposite and this angle lies on the base that is the shadow so this is called adjacent. Hypotenuse is always the side that is opposite to 90 degree angle so this is hypotenuse. Now for the given angle unknown is opposite and known is adjacent. So the ratio of opposite and adjacent is used in TOA because tan is opposite over adjacent. Therefore the trigonometric ratio that we would use to solve this question will be tan ratio since the ratio always comes with the angle so we would write down tan 25 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. Opposite is what we are looking for and let's call this h because it's the height that we are looking for. Adjacent is 28. This is equal to 1025 degrees because we are looking for height so we would isolate height and that would be equal to 1025 degrees multiplied by 28 which is equal to 13.06 meters and that is the height of the flagpole. Because we are asked to write on the answer to the nearest meter. Nearest meter means the nearest whole number. So height of the flagpole is equal to 13 meters. That's the answer to this question. Let's take up another example. Okay, the next question is, the world's longest escalator is in the subway system in St. Petersburg, Russia. The escalator is 330.7 meters long and rises a vertical distance of 59.7 meters. What is the angle of elevation of the top of the escalator when viewed from the bottom to the nearest degree? So let's first turn this word problem into a diagram. We know escalators or stairs look like this. We are given the length of escalator as 330.7 meters. So this is going to be the length of the escalator which is 330.7 meters. It rises a vertical distance of 59.7 meters. The question wants us to find the angle of elevation of the top of the escalator when viewed from the bottom to the nearest degree. So if somebody is standing here and they are looking at the top of the escalator then the angle of elevation of the eye level of that person because this is the eye level angle of elevation is the amount of angle that we go above the eye level. So that is this angle is what the question wants us to find. Now this is a right angle triangle and we are given the sides of the triangle. We are asked to find out the angle. So we are supposed to use trigonometric ratios because again relationship between the angle as well as because again relationship between the angle as well as side lengths of the triangle are going to be used. Now for the given angle or for the unknown angle that we are looking for we are given side opposite to it as well as we are given the hypotenuse because this is going to represent the hypotenuse of triangle as this side is opposite to 90 degree angle. Out of the three trigonometric ratios, so katua, opposite and hypotenuse is contained in sine ratio. So for this particular question we will be using 
sine ratio. Let's call this triangle ABC. So since we are looking for angle B, we would write on sine B is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite side value we know is 59.7 meters and height is 330.7 meters. 59.7 divided by 330.7 when we put on the calculator we get 0 0.18 and that is equal to sine B. Since we are looking for angle B, we would leave angle B here and we would move sine on the other side and we would be able to get sine inverse of 0.18. When you put second function with sine and this number on the calculator, we get angle B as 10.369. As we are supposed to find this answer to the nearest degree, so it has to be rounded to the nearest whole number. Therefore, the answer to this angle is 10 degrees. And that's how we solve this type of a question. Let's take up another example for the sake of practice. The question says from the top of the CN Tower, the angle of elevation. The question says from the top of the CN Tower, the angle of depression to the tip of the tower's shadow is 88 degree. The shadow is 19.5 meters long. How tall is the CN Tower? So we know CN Tower is going to stand straight on the ground. This is a CN Tower. If somebody is standing here on top of the CN Tower, then their viewpoint is this. How much you look below the view, how much you look below the viewpoint, that is called the angle of depression. The shadow of the CN Tower will be formed on the ground and the shadow is given to us as 19.5 meters long. We are asked to find out the height of the CN Tower. So this is definitely going to represent the height of the CN Tower. This angle of depression that is given to us is 88 degrees. Now we notice that this 88 degrees is outside the triangle in order to use this triangle to solve for height, we need this angle to be inside the triangle. We notice here that definitely this side and this is going to be parallel. So this will form a Z pattern. Therefore, this angle is same as the angle that will form here. So if this is 88 degrees, this angle will be 88 degrees as well. Now for the given angle, this side is opposite and this side is adjacent. We are looking to find out the opposite side. We are given adjacent as well as we are given the angle. Out of Soka to the three ratios, opposite and adjacent is used in tan ratio. So we would be using tan trig ratio to solve this question. We get tan 88 degrees equal to opposite over adjacent. Opposite side is height of the CN tower and adjacent is given to us as 19.5 meters. That is equal to tan 88 degrees. We are looking to find out height, so we would isolate height. This would give us 19.5 times 1088. When we multiply this on the calculator, we get 558.4 meters. We are not given what we have to round it up to, so we would write on the final answer as is. Therefore, the height of the CN Tower is 558.4 meters. And that's how we solve all the word problem or application problems type of questions involved in trigonometry. All you have to do is just understand the word problem and convert it to a diagram and then check which trigonometric ratio would be, would be applicable to the knowns and the unknowns. Then we have to apply the ratio and solve for the unknown value.